Hi, I want to talk to you about breast reductions today. Now, breast reductions are an operation that I've been performing for a great number of years. Uh, we started on the NHS. It used to be something that was offered on the NHS, and that shows you really how important an operation it is. It's not a cosmetic procedure. Many of the women who come in are suffering with pains, pains of deep cuts in the shoulders from heavy bra straps, uh, lots of backache, lots of poor posture, People tend to lean forwards, try to hide their big bust because any woman who has got big breasts knows that the moment they go like this, then their boobs come out and they feel very self-conscious and it's the first thing that anybody looks at. And that's a lot of what people tell me, but also it's um, fitting clothes. A lot of people come in and they say, you know, I can find something that fits on the top, find something that fits on the bottom, but there's no way I can wear a nice dress. There's no way I can wear the clothes that I really want to wear. So one of the things that I see people so happy about after this operation is they say, I've changed my whole wardrobe and I feel amazing. So what's involved in the surgery? Well, the surgery can take quite a while because it's not a small procedure by any stretch of the imagination. You'll be asleep. It will take between two and three hours depending on how much is coming off. And I've taken up to a kilo off each breast. I have one woman who came in, her boobs were so big that she said when she lay down at night, her boob would fall onto her arm and she'd wake up with numb hands. So needless to say, she was absolutely delighted. I took more than a kilo off each side from her. But in terms of regular reductions, then you would have the anchor pattern of scarring. So that is, it goes around the areola, the circular part of the breast, the pigmented part, then vertically down and then runs in the crease under the breast. But I work hard not to allow that scar to come up into your cleavage because that's somewhere where people like to show. And I make sure that we don't go too far around the sides of the um, chest because that's an area where if you do go too far around, the scars can become thick and can become lumpy. Now I use all dissolving stitches, I don't use any drains, and I use something which is known as a pico dressing. Now pico dressing is what I call a sort of vacuum pack dressing. That goes on and that sucks the air out and there's a tiny little battery pack. That stays on for a week. And the reason I use those is because if anything's gonna go wrong in a breast reduction, then it's at the T junction. That's where these scars tend to meet. And since I've been using these dressings for a week, then I have seen very little in the way of problems. So three hours, no drains, dissolving stitches, you pico dressing on for one week, come back, you can be a completely changed woman and changed for the better. It really is a life-changing procedure, a breast reduction. So if it's something you're interested in, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. There's no pressure and we would love to see you. Take care.